here. We've always been active buyers here, and it was really been really great to actually launch some of the films that we've developed and produced here too. So, I re- but I do remember this room. The first time I've seen the Netflix logo on the screen in Eccles actually goes way back to a film we co-produced with IFC called um, "This Film Not Yet Rated," and it was this goes back pre-streaming for us. So it was actually a pretty exciting uh, return. But, we, they, they, but to, sc- to screen a movie in Eccles on opening night is an experience that's nothing else like in the world. And talk a little bit about just bringing films to Sundance. I mean, obviously, it kind of kicks off the year, and there's a lot of indie attention to it. Yeah. But for you, what do you think the advantages of, ha- of screening a movie here? Look, I think this is the epicenter of independent film. So if a film doesn't work here, it doesn't work in the community, it's very unlikely it's going to work anywhere else. Uh, and But I really, what excites me most about bringing a film here is that all the, rela- the kind of organic relationships that come from that. The projects that will come from this week, we will realize them over the next three years. And that doesn't happen everywhere else in the world. Talk about the state of the industry, so to speak, with Netflix movies. Yeah, well, look, what we know is is that people, about a third of the watching of Netflix is movies. And our fans love to watch great movies. And it's getting fewer and farther between movies that are thoughtful and movies for grown-ups. And movies like Mudbound have a very difficult time finding an audience through traditional channels. And if I was producing a movie today and knew that I had to pay for it through movie ticket sales and DVDs I'd, and VOD, I'd be very anxious. And what we're able to do is give the filmmaker the opportunity to focus on telling a great story. We bring them a great big audience, and uh, and they don't have to go through all the machinations of trying to get distribution, get into the theater, and what it means if it doesn't have a good opening weekend, and all those things. So a movie like Mudbound, since it left, since we bought it here at Sundance last year, it's been in the culture, it's been in the ecosystem ever since. So I'm thinking that when Lynette gets back into the good wife area, so that it's 